Hey friends. Okay. My big sigh is because it's my second to last delight of the bite from this kitchen. We are in the middle of moving in the midst of coronavirus. It's quite crazy. We're not moving far. We're just moving to the other side of town um, into a 112 year old house. Yep. Built in 1908. <laughs> so I'm going to be off for a few weeks. Next week, I have one last thing planned. It'll be just a couple days before the move, and I've got the perfect thing planned for next week. But this week, I'm doing my last kind of like really fun um, thing. I've been saving it for a while. It's from an old magazine, torn out. I wish it had the date on it, but it's from Southern Living Magazine. When I used to subscribe to Southern Living Magazine back when I lived in Nashville, lived there for about nine years, and um, anyway, so this is an oldie but goodie. I've made it a few times and it just feels like spring. It's really fresh. It's light. Um, and it's so tasty. So drum roll, please. I am serving up lemon basil shrimp salad. I wanted to look down and make sure I said it right. Cause I know what it is. Um, I've had it a number of times. It's so good. So I wanted to introduce this to you guys. If you have not, um, had something like this, it's pretty simple. Um, it involves taking some cooked, already ready to go, just chilled shrimp that you marinate in a lemon basil marinade. And um, you throw in some um, peppers and red onion um, slices into that and you just let it kind of marinate and then um, kind of just strain it off and put it over fresh greens with the lemon vinaigrette. And then the fun part is you make Parmesan cheese baskets, like little, little bowl baskets that you can um, serve these in, which is really pretty and really fun. And if you don't do dairy, then skip the cheese basket. No big deal. Okay. What's kind of fun though, is when I whipped, I whipped the marinade together and the dressing together this morning. I didn't film it because it's basically measuring, putting something in and mixing it. And um, I just wasn't prepared earlier this morning. My kitchen was kind of a wreck because I have boxes all over. You just can't see them right now. Um, so anyways, but what's cool is when you make the marinade, you also make the dressing because it's a lot of the same ingredients. Um, fresh lemon juice, Dijon, some fresh garlic, a little salt, black pepper, and then there's a few other little varieties within the marinade that you do. But um, really similar, um, kind of reminds me of the Greek dinner that I did. If you uh, haven't seen that one, watch it. But very similar to the marinade versus the dressing, a lot of the same ingredients. So it really kind of comes together quickly. And then you do that, let it marinate for eight, eight hours, or you can even do it overnight. And then it's simply just taking some fresh salad greens um, and straining off the shrimp and making those Parmesan cheese baskets. So really simple. I am going to try and show you, um, two ways that, well, I don't know if I'm going to show, maybe I'll show, maybe I'll not, I'm not sure. You'll get surprised, but there's two different ways you can do Parmesan cheese baskets. One is to bake them in the oven on parchment paper or one of those, um, baking mats called a silpat. Um, that's a nonstick mat. You can do it either those, either two ways or on, on a baking sheet, or you can do it on a, um, nonstick skillet. And essentially you're just taking uh, shards of cheese and you're melting it down, um, putting it into a circle or a shape about the size that you would like. And then once it's hot and kind of browned a little bit on the edges and nice and bubbly and melty, um, you very, let, let it kind of cool for just a minute or so. And then you flip it onto the back side of a bowl or a cup or a glass, and then it cools pretty quickly and then takes the shape of whatever that is. So they're very kind of cool and organic looking. So I'm excited to show you guys those. I'll probably just demonstrate one of them because I got a lot going on, but um, I'm super excited. Let's get started with lemon basil shrimp salad. So I'm starting with my Parmesan cheese baskets and I just have a big container. I took a block of Parmesan Reggiano and grated it and not too fine. You can see that the um, shreds are small, but they're not like like angel hair, like very, very thin, thin, but you want to do a medium to a large grate on the Parmesan. And then I just patted, I used my, uh, half cup vintage Tupperware <laughs> measuring cup and, um, scooped out. So they're even, um, in portion and just scooped them out and then made the pile and then just lightly patted it out with my hand to be a round shape. But if you wanted to do a different shape, if you were putting it over the back of like an oval shaped bowl, you totally could do that. I'm just doing round and I'm gonna throw them over the back of a, 
I'm not sure, probably just a round bowl or something. Um, so these will go into a 375 degree oven for about five to seven minutes. You just want to watch them. They don't, you don't want them to burn and you want to make sure that all the cheese is connected. You don't want like little stray pieces like hanging out away. Obviously it needs to be connected. So they melt into make, uh, kind of a cheese, a melted cheese weave. I decided to show you the second version. So non-stick skillet, it's medium heat. Um, I, this is one of those times where you don't want your pan to be super hot when you add it. You wanna turn your pan on and then put the cheese in. So I just patted it out with my fingers to make it kind of a nice round shape. It doesn't need to be perfect, but see how it's thin, but it's not like paper thin. That's what you want because the cheese will um, expand a little bit. So it'll fill in some of those spots where you feel like you can see through it, but you don't want it to be too lacy. So. Okie doke, this is starting to get nice and bubbly and you don't want to get it too brown, but I want to see if I can get my spatula kind of under the edge. I may not be able to do this on camera, but what I'm going to do, I'll put it down because I use my hand to tip the thing to an angle. Scoop this under, flip it quickly for like 10 seconds, and then I'm going to flip it on the back of this bowl that's set upside down. So I'll show you when I got it flipped. Okay, that was a two-hand job, so I could not... Uh, uh, flip it without, without uh, or withholding the camera. But you guys see the idea. So I flipped it on the back of the bowl. I'm gonna let it sit here for just a couple minutes and then you'll see how this one turns out. I'll show you all three when they're all done. The other guys are getting ready to go in the oven and then I will flip them onto, um, I got some bowls right over here. I'll flip them onto these bowls for a little different shape and um, then I'll show you what, I, what they look like when I take them off the bowl once they've cooled and hardened just a bit. Okay, sorry my camera guy's not here. I mean, he's here, but he's working. He can't be disturbed right the second. So you guys, I just scooped it off of here and then flipped it over and then kind of, it's hot. So I just kind of gently pressed, did the same thing. And then I folded my, my parchment in half and basically just went like this and squeezed it over the back of the bowl and squeezed it over the back of the bowl. It's not that hot. It's not like it's going to sizzle burn you. But now these, they kind of have just like, organic shape they're not like perfect but they're kind of wrinkly and then let's come over to this guy see the pan one sorry my camera skills this is not what I do I cook um look at the difference so this one's much more melty crispy this one is much more lacy I like this one the look of it better but I think the taste of the crispy is pretty cool so I'm gonna unmold this guy you can look and see Look at that. It's a cheese bowl, you guys. So this will be the base, and then I'll put lettuce and yummies in here. Although, this is my tester. I'm gonna give this to my son. He'll probably have a different salad. He's not into the lemon basil situation. But this is gonna be so fun. And you can do these ahead of time, and then they're ready to roll for when you're ready to have your dinner. So this could be done in the morning, and then just leave them on the counter. Maybe cover them lightly, but that's it. Assembly time, I'm super excited. So I may have confused you guys a little bit when I talked about having my shrimp that was uncooked. I had to adjust because I thought I bought cooked, peeled, ready to go shrimp. So for you guys, buy cooked, peeled, ready to go shrimp. You can buy it fresh or you can buy it frozen and then just thaw it. But once it's thawed, add it to your lemon basil marinade with the veggies in a Ziploc and let it marinate. And then you just strain it and here it is. <laughs> You didn't have to see all the steps I did. <laughs> so I had a little special adjustment. But look how colorful and gorgeous that is. So it's just the shrimps and some peppers and red onion and fresh basil. It's just gorgeous. So this is a really, honestly, very simple thing because you make the marinade and the dressing, you can make it in the morning. And then you throw this stuff into a Ziploc and you let it hang out for um, part of the day. Excuse me, I gotta turn something down on the stove. And then, um, Pretty much it's just wash your greens or open up your bag of greens and you build your salad aside from the awesome parmesan baskets that i showed you so i just let these sit here but here you go you can see isn't that cool it holds its shape so you can even put this on the bowl so it's like offset so you have one side bigger than the other then you could like lay it down in your bowl like this it doesn't really matter for mine but i'm using some boston bib lettuce it's called boston lettuce bib lettuce living lettuce Anyways, it's kind of like these big leaves. These are great for making uh, tacos if you want to have a no grain type taco, we can wrap up meat in here. But I'm gonna set that down in there just because it kind of gives it a pretty little build and you can see the edge right here. And then here are my greens. Got my dressing, just gonna whisk that up real quick. 
I'm gonna lightly toss my greens with a little of this lemon dressing that I made when I whipped up my marinade for my tongs. I'm just gonna lightly toss the greens here first so everything gets nice and coated. And then I'm gonna set, actually, let me do both of them at the same time. That'd be more easier. And then I got these little guys ready to go. They're going in there. That's just a little extra lettuce. I'm gonna set these little tossed greens in here. And I have these shallow bowls, but you could totally just do this right on a plate. Be really easy. And then the shrimp and the uh, veggies, those have just been, they've been marinated and drained. So that's what I got going on in here. So these are a little bit saucy, but they're not like dripping in sauce. That's why you need to dress those greens. So a big pile of the veggies and shrimp. Look how colorful. Put a couple more shrimp on there because that's the star of the show, right? And this is a really light meal. You could even do um, like little small lettuce cups and make this more like an appetizer if you wanted, but we're having it for dinner tonight because it's a beautiful day. And I've cut some little fresh tomato wedges. I'm just gonna put those on the side because we happen to have those for a little pop and then finishing it with a little more fresh basil. So pretty. And that is it, you guys. I don't have a thing to wrap, but that's okay. So you see how pretty this is. I'm gonna taste from this one. I think that one's prettier and I gotta get a shot in just a second here. Um, so you can see a still shot, but I'm gonna taste. I can't wait. Okay, nice and light and fresh and tart. You could also do some fresh sliced um, avocado on here. That would be super yummy. Oh, I can hardly wait. That is so bright mm, and fresh. You taste that basil, the lemon, the marinade has a tinge of sugar and hot sauce and you get a little tiny bit of heat, but not spicy, don't think spicy. From the marinade of the shrimp and the vegetables, whoa little pinch of my cheese basket back here for some salty crunchy. You have no idea the willpower I had to have to not pick at those crispy <laughs> Parmesan cheese bowls. They're so good. Those can be used for anything, by the way. Um, you could even make those into a little mini size and then put a little shrimp veggie thing inside those and have little bites. Um, whoa, this just tastes like summer. And I know we are all craving summer about this point in time, especially if you've been living in some of the states that are getting snow, make this and maybe it'll remind you summer's coming, it's coming. So we've been having really good weather here in uh, the Seattle area, but this is my last big meal that I'm making with the light of the night. Next week, it's gonna be short and sweet. It's the perfect meal for people who are down to like the last things in the cupboard. So little preview tease for you. So thank you so much for watching. Delight of the bite, subscribe, share, tell your friends and let everybody know about this one and make this, let me know what you think. Do a comment, um, like, like, let me know, give me the feedback. I love that and subscribe, hit that bell if you haven't done so. And um, thank you so much for watching. Pretty soon I'll be in my new digs and it'll be a new set. Set, haha, <laughs> I'm just a home cook. But anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Take care.